This is the Greek Vocabulary Reviewer Game, GVR for short. This is a project I've been working on since April 2020, and I just wanted to show the state of where I left off and the reasons why I'm moving on to GVR version 2. So the idea behind GVR was to build an arcade game as a way to uh, review vocab Greek vocab words in a fun way. And so the idea was that first you'd select a category, and the category could be something like body parts, animals, colors, verbs, etc. And once you've selected your category, then you would hear and see the Greek word um, that was randomly selected from that category. So you would see the Greek word appear as English phonetics on one of the LCD screens, which is the one in the top right corner. And you would also hear it through um, a music maker shield that is Arduino compatible. And then um, once you both see the, the Greek word in English phonetics and hear it through the speakers, you would then be presented with four different images in front of you that you'd have to select the one that matches with the word you've just seen and heard. And so the images actually appear on these TFT screens. And so I'm going to take some time to describe the parts used and what is working and what hasn't worked since putting this all together and explain the reasoning for moving on to version two. So the parts used for this game are uh, a large strip of NeoPixel LED lights and those circle the perimeter of the game. So there's actually 136 individual LEDs um, that are among this strip. And so the purpose of the LEDs was to show whether you're advancing in the game or not. So every time you, you got a word correct, the LED position would advance by one. And every time you uh, got it incorrect, it, you, uh, the position of the LED would su be subtracted by one. Uh, next we have, there's seven LCD displays. So there's liquid crystal displays. Those are the green rectangular screens and those just present words. And so the reason why there's seven is because the one on the top left, I wanted to show originally the level. The one on the top right, I wanted to show the uh, Greek word in English phonetics, which we have here, psilos, which means tall. Uh, this one here in the center is just a static word. It just says categories. And then here, these bottom four LCD displays, these are to show the categories. So we have adjectives, animals, body parts, and colors. And the buttons that are next to them are for selecting a category. Um, on either side, there's of these four LCD screens, there's a, a touch module on either side. And the reason for this is so that you could actually select uh, a different part of the menu. So there's actually eight categories all in all, and you can move the menu to the right to show the next four categories if you just touch this uh, touch module here on the right. And then once you've moved on to the, the last part of the menu, then you can go back and revert by hitting the left touch module. Uh, next up, we have four TFT screens. These show uh, BMP images, which stand for bitmap. And each screen is powered by and controlled by an Arduino Uno. And so these screens actually show the uh, four different images 
that belong to the same category that you selected, then one of the images is the correct one that you have to select. And the way to select it is by hitting its corresponding uh, arcade button here. So the reason why everything is mounted except for the TFT screens is because whenever I mounted all four of them, uh, only one image would show instead of all four. So I don't know if there was a problem with the way that I mounted them or if it was something to do with the length of the wires. Being that these are prototype wires, they're very skinny and short. And so every time you add another connection, you get voltage drop off the longer the, the, the amount of connections you have. So it could have just been something where I was just trying to connect too many wires together and the current wasn't reaching the screen fast enough. So for now, I just have them unmounted just for showing that the game logic actually does work and it does advance to the next, uh, the next four images when you select a button. And so just to demonstrate, I'm just gonna show you the word. Again, here we have the word psilos. So this was randomly selected from an array of words in the adjectives category that I created in the, in the game. So psilos means tall. So here we see four different images. There's one of a very tall ship next to a small lighthouse. There's this image of a sloth. There's an image of a cheetah. And there's an image of a girl showing two thumbs up. So the word, the, the word psilos for tall would correctly match up with this screen here. So then you would hit the corresponding button and then it would advance to the next level. So here, so once I selected that button, it shows the next word, griora, which means fast. So then the next four images show up. There's two men giving a thumbs down. And there's a sloth in the back. There's a cheetah here. And there's a runway model here. So the next step, you would select the cheetah for fast. And that would you would then press that button corresponding to that screen. So now that I've demoed what I've got working um, since I started working on this project in April, I'm gonna explain why I'm deciding to move on to version two of the project and why it's gonna be so much better. So I learned a lot when doing this project. Um, I definitely pushed the bounds of my Arduino knowledge. Um, I'll just show you the back to just show you how much wiring there is for this. So here you can see all the wiring. Um, it kind of goes in like a zigzag pattern and I've um, attached diagrams to the documentation for reference. But basically, there's an Arduino Mega here being the main controller. And this is what's actually sending and receiving signals from each of the four Arduino Unos and their corresponding, um, that are attached to each corresponding uh, TFT screen. So that's how we're updating the images for each round, is that the Meg Arduino Mega is sending a string which matches to a bitmap image that's loaded onto each uh, screen's SD card. And so it knows how to correctly match the word in that code logic. And so once power enters through here, it goes through this like pod one, and then it goes all the way up to here. And then it goes to, um, basically the flow is from LCD one to LCD two to LCD three to LCD4, LCD5, LCD6, 
and LCD7 is the last one. And the board here, this pegboard, is attached to these uh, wooden uh, planks just to give it extra height because of how tall these arcade buttons are. So we needed room for those. And so the reason I am going to move on to version two is because this project has taken a lot of hours, more than I could count or keep track of. And in the end, I had uh, technical difficulties when it came to mounting the four TFT screens to the board. I'm still not sure what the issue was exactly, but my guess is that um, the some of the wiring had to be a little longer than the other wires, and I think that um, the power wires had to be kept relatively short because of how skinny they are. Um, and so that is the reason why they're not mounted to the board and they're here on the floor instead because I could actually keep them closer to the power supply so they're, the wires could be a lot shorter uh, in this configuration. I wanted to say thank you to my sponsor, Digit Space. They're a Chinese electronic hardware company. Uh, they graciously um, sent me many of the parts for this project, including uh, these seven LCD displays, um, two touch modules, and also the four TFT screens. So big thank you to them.